So word of this heavy rain on the way is a concern for many people here in the valley, but especially up in the northwest. 8 News Now reporter Brian Will returned to one of those areas that was hard hit by flooding just a couple weeks ago. This roadway behind me is dry today, but that wasn't the case when water and rocks were gushing down this roadway, making it hard to pass. It's something that neighbors will have to look out for with the rain coming this weekend. It comes from the desert up there and just comes straight down. Neighbors have been dealing with flooding in this area during severe storms for a while now. But after recent fixes, the coming rain will be the ultimate test. Chief engineer of the regional flood control says they have five to six projects going on at one time. The one up here in the Northwest Valley just wrapped up. We just finished a storm drain actually in El Capitan between Ann Road and Centennial. Um, so the, there was actually some flooding up there on August 1st. Areas like these are more prone to storm damage. One thing we're really kind of worried about is the you know, the city, the urban area of Las Vegas has, you know, got a lot of facilities in it. There's still areas that have not been protected that we haven't got facilities built yet. Elevation is the key to safety, says Parrish. New developments have to do drainage studies, so they are usually being built as the structures are going up. Older areas that are below the level of the road are the most dangerous. It's why the district manages flooding throughout the area. We've got multiple detention basins pretty much around the ring of the valley now that are capturing water as it comes out of the mountains, for example, and, and controlling that flow. And, and Those are part of the 106 detention basins that include 684 miles of channel that help mitigate flooding like this. In the Northwest Valley, Brian Will, 8 News Now. So keep in mind, if you're having issues with flood control in your neighborhood, you can contact the Regional Flood Control District as well as your local Public Works Department for help.